What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jalen here on another episode of Elevated Minds. Um, today's episode is going to be called Don't Be Afraid to Be Alone. Uh, this is going to be for you guys that might have a little bit of codependency issues. Um, and I don't mean this in a negative way. This is out of love. <laughs> I'm, I'm a person that had codependency issues. So um, I just want to be able to help you guys out, get the best out of life, get the best out of your relationships, have the most meaningful relationships. And one of the most meaningful relationships is the one that you have with yourself. So that's what this one is really going to be about. Um, if this is your first time on the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me. And uh, if you're returning, go ahead and hit that like button. It's going to help my videos uh, for the algorithm. Let's go on and hop into this video. So don't be afraid to be alone. This isn't going to be a super long episode, but this is really for you guys that uh, you might always need to be in a relationship. Um, I want you guys to take a moment to understand why you feel that you have to be in a relationship. And I'm going to start off with a story. I was someone that always had to be in a relationship. From the age of 18, um, I was in a relationship. Um, I actually had gotten married to this person. Uh, we're not together. We're actually divorced. Um, long time ago, <laughs> about 10 years now. But um, uh, that was the first person I was ever with. And ever since that, I, I, I got into another relationship uh, less than a year after that. And, you know, then another relationship. And after that, um, I was in a few relationships or, in a, you know, met a bunch of different women uh, along those times. But um, I always felt like I couldn't really be alone. You know, I felt like I needed to be in a relationship to feel whole. And something that we have to all realize is before you even been in a relationship, when you came out of your mom's womb, you're already whole. You're already perfectly fine just as you are. That's really how it is. All of us, all of us uh, are souls. We have, we're spirits. We're spirits in a, a human body. And your spirit is pure and whole as it comes to this world. So this thought that you're broken or that something's wrong with you, this is going to transmute into your relationships and how you look for your relationships. And so it's going to be different if you're looking for a relationship because you know you're you're happy with yourself you're fine you're great and you just kind of want a companion to share your already happy life with that's what you should be that's how we should be going into a relationship if you're going into a relationship out of fear like uh man i'm 30 and i don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and i need to have kids and i gotta do this and my parents want me to have kids and what am i gonna do i, I need to find somebody like if you're if you're in that mentality you need to sit down <laughs> you need to take a second, breathe, sit down, because I'm telling you, that's not the that's not the mentality you need to be in when you're trying to look for somebody. You're moving out of fear. When you're moving out of fear, it's not going to be it's not going to be ideal. You're not you're going to attract someone that's also most likely fearful, and you're just going to have this whole fear based relationship. And you know you you need to be around them all the time. You're not you don't feel secure with them. You don't feel that you can be without them for like more than five minutes out of the day. And it's just not healthy. It's not healthy. I want you guys to have the most healthy, bountiful, plentiful, uh, abundant relationships with the person of your dreams, and that's totally possible. Um, all you have to do is take the time to be patient. Figure out what you like, what you don't like. Get to get to know yourself some. You don't have to be in a relationship all the time, you know? Just take a moment to be by yourself, you know what I mean? Really figure out, you know what I'm saying? Like, go out on a date with yourself. Take yourself out to the movies. Take yourself... I, I talked about this in, in the, the uh, video, Self Love. It's just going to sound a little bit of... Uh, sound a little bit repetitive, but... Um, this, this, this goes hand in hand together. Um, when... You just you need to get out of that mentality that you need somebody else to make you happy. Happiness starts within. Everything starts within. So, and, and, and get out of the the, the thought that you know uh, when I get this I'll be happy. When I find my person I'll be happy. When I you know you're looking external. You're looking for happiness external. When you're looking for happiness external, you're gonna be you're never gonna be fulfilled because that. You know, external things are outside of us. You can't be happy with what everything, you know, all the things outside of you because they, these things are apt to change. They might 
lose feelings for you. Or this thing over here might disappear. This thing right here might be done tomorrow. So we don't need to look for it happy. This is why when people that chase money, they're not happy because you you know there's never gonna be enough money in the world for you to get, for you to be happy. And so I don't wanna get off subject, but this goes back to learning how to have a relationship with yourself. The one that you have with yourself is what's gonna to reflect to every other relationship that you experience in this world. And so you need to make sure that you know what you like, you know what you don't like, you know what type of person you wanna be with, you, you know what your values are, you know what values you want the person to have, you, you know, kids, all this stuff. These different things you need to know before you even hop into a relationship. A lot of people are hopping into relationships and they don't even really know what they want. They just want to be with somebody. They're just so desperate to be with somebody. And, you know, it's not even fulfilling. They're just like, oh, I got a warm body next to me, you know. And a lot of times people are in relationships they're not even happy with. I am totally happy being single right now. You know, I'm looking for my my person. And, you know, I'm okay. You know, I'm, I wouldn't even say that I'm looking, you know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really content. I'm happy where I'm at. Um, I can be by myself. And I really don't mind it i actually really enjoy my own company um kind of to a scary point um i don't want to get to the point where i'm just a hermit so you know uh i don't want you guys to get like that either so don't get don't get the wrong idea i'm not telling you don't look for, and search for love i'm just saying don't get to the point to where that's the only thing that is that's what you obsess over and you just need you know you attach yourself to a person and you just need them all the time and you don't know what to do if they're not around learn how to have your own life Learn how to do things on your own. Have your own friends, you know, do the, do things that you enjoy. And, you know, and then also have somebody that you can share it with. But it, isn't, it has, you know, make it healthy. Don't just sit there and, you know, be up under them 24-7 and, you know, and smother them and stuff like that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with showing your partner affection or love and texting and phone calls and gifts. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, don't get to the point to where that is the source of your happiness, because I'm telling you right now, you will be disappointed. I'm not saying this in a negative way. I'm saying this out of total love. I'm, I want you guys to get the most out of life. I want you guys to be happy, plentiful, bountiful, abundant with yourself first. And, you know, everything else comes after that. And if you're already married and right now and you're not happy with yourself, that's okay. You can find that happiness within yourself and I guarantee you your marriage will get even better. If you learn how to enjoy yourself, love yourself, have a relationship with yourself, do things for yourself. Don't do things that you hate. Don't do things that you, you know, you know that's going to drain your spirit. Do, do things to build yourself up and have a relationship with yourself and watch how things start to turn around for you. All right. So I don't want to prolong this video any longer. I hope you guys, uh, enjoy this video i hope i provided you with some type of value if you guys have any other instances about uh you know relationships and things like that or if you have any topics you'd like for me to go over uh go ahead and put that in the comments i'd love to go over it with you guys i'd love to make a video about it and um you know let's be our best selves let's you know enjoy ourselves enjoy life enjoy our partners um but most of, most of all enjoy yourself celebrate you make sure you do that guys you know don't be afraid to be alone don't be afraid to take some time if you need to go travel a little bit if you need to go figure yourself out don't be afraid to do that because i'm telling you if you take whatever amount of time that is it could be a year it could be six months could be two years who knows um, everybody's different um, but if you take that time i guarantee you will not be disappointed i guarantee that um, uh, so yeah <laughs> that's all i got for today uh hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, you know, have a great weekend. Be blessed. Peace. Stay elevated.